bad off. <laughs> another video and what kind of video so today I'll be making creamy two scan chicken two two scan two scan okay whatever it's called you'll see you'll know what I'm making by the title of the video but before the video gets started make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and hit that little bell to be notified every time I post a new video and let's get straight into this video okay so the ingredients for this video will be apple cider vinegar um, heavy cream. I haven't used this in a while. This is my last video, one of my old videos. Um, salt and pepper. Oil, doesn't matter what type of oil. I'm using this type. Um, homemade seasoning, of course. Tomatoes. Onion. Garlic. Spinach. Doesn't matter with spinach. I think there's anyone like the one we buy doesn't matter. Like you use the back one, this and the one that are in the container, it doesn't matter. Excuse me, spinach and cheese. So oh 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 I forgot the most important part of it. And I have chicken drums. Doesn't matter what type of chicken you use. I'm gonna just be eating chicken drum. Well, yeah, now I'm about to clean my chicken. Okay, so now I have my bowl. I, 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 I rinsed it, of course. So now I'm going to cut this open. And I have, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have six chicken drums. So now what I'm just going to do is, hold on, I have to lift it up. This. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take each one. Why is it still frozen? Because I put it under hot water. You know what? Whatever. Now I'm just going to cut a slit in between each one of them. So where I could pour the vinegar on it and the salt. So basically, I have took them out of the thing. And then now, right now, they're in like the hot water. They're in hot water. So now what I'm going to be doing is trying to pour, I'm pour um, the apple cider vinegar onto it. And then now, I'm going to add salt. Not too much, but. And I need a spoon. I keep forgetting to get a spoon every time I do it. Okay, so now I have my spoon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it into the salt and the, 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 the vinegar. Okay, so I have let these sit for five minutes. So now all we do is I have the three lemons that I cut up. You can see there. So what I'll be doing is I'm take one lemon, rub it onto them. Don't rinse it. I said don't rinse it. One lemon, rub it onto them, rinse it, and then another one, rub it onto them, rinse it again, and then for the last one, after I'm done rubbing on it, I won't rinse it. So basically, that will be the process of what I'm doing. Okay, so I have rubbed all three of the lemons onto the drums. So what I'll be doing is now I'm going to boil hot water to pour on top of it. So I'll be back after the water's done boiling. Okay, so the water has the water has boiled. You can clearly see that. So 
And now what I'll be doing is I will be pouring it onto this. Okay, I didn't burn myself. So now I'm gonna leave it in this like this for a few minutes. So like while it's in this, like by the time I'm done doing this part, I'm gonna take the water out. So basically. And now I'm taking some Maggie and adding it to it. And now I'll mix it. So now I'm done mixing it. So now I'm going to pour this water out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the homemade seasoning on top of each one. Okay, so because I've added the homemade seasoning to each one, so I'm going to let this sit here for like a few minutes. So now I'm going to put these to the back so what i'll be doing is i'm gonna take oh no no this one. wrong thing i'm gonna take this and then my um garlic tomatoes and i need my onion and my onion and then basically what i'll be doing is i'm going to i'm going to cut them so basically Okay, so these are the diced up tomatoes. So now I have to do the onions. Okay, so here's the onions. Now the last and final thing I have to cut is the garlic. And then these are the sliced up garlic. So now I'm just going to let the drumstick stay in the homemade seasoning for like maybe a few more minutes and then I'll come back. Okay, so I let it sit for the few minutes that I said I was going to let it sit for. So what I'll be adding to it is now is salt and pepper and cayenne red peppers. So now I'm going to heat up the oil and fry these. 
so. Okay, so I let the heat heat. I said that I let the heat. I mean, I left the oil to heat up. So now I'll be adding the gems. let these dry and then come back to you guys when they're done frying and when I will be adding my spinach, cheese, onion, tomatoes, heavy cream and all of that. Okay, so they're done frying and now what I'll be doing is I'm going to be adding them to this plate and then where now, oh Lord, where now, <gasps> this one almost fell. Oops. Okay, and this, you can see. Now what I'll be adding is my onions and garlic. Okay, so now I'm just going to just be adding the onion and the garlic. And try not to drop some tomatoes in there. Come back to you guys when I'm adding the heavy cream and the cheese. Okay, so now what I'll be doing is I'll be adding the heavy cream and the cheese. So that should be enough. I'll see first. Wait, actually, just in case, I'm gonna put a little bit more. And then before it boils, I want to make sure it's like a thick consistency. So. I'm just going to add some cheese. Okay, so I'm just going to let it stay here and thicken up. And then after that, I'll be back. Okay, so it has thickened up, so now what I'm going to do is I will be adding them into basically the mixture. Maybe a little bit, a little, a little, a few more minutes, and then after that, I'm going to take them out. Okay, so I'm here with my sister, Kalisha and Kiyama, and they will be tasting it. Just take one more chicken bite. Kalisha gives it a 10 out of 10. She gives it a 10 out of 10. So now I'm going to make them wash their hands, wash their mouth, and then they will, then I'll come back for my reaction. Okay, so I'm back. I made them wash their hands and their mouth. So now I will be tasting this. <laughs> Oh, wait. It's not bad at all. Basically, this has like a sweet, a kind of sweet, quote unquote sweet taste to it. Because I guess of the heavy cream. But like the cheese, what they taste so good. So I recommend it. 
But this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys like liked it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little bell to be notified every time I post in the video. But 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 before this video ends, make sure you guys wash your hands, wear your face, and not stay six feet distance because you know COVID. And stay safe, guys. Bye.